friends we are here to discuss the properties of processing of plastics and in that the first lesson session is on basics plastics so in this session we are going to understand the definition of plastic then the basics of plastics in that the types of plastics after that two major categories of plastics are used one is thermoplastics and second one is thermosetting plastics in practical applications then plastic as a material its properties in and its applications so let us begin with the definition of a plastic plastic is a material which is consisting of a wide range of synthetic or semi synthetic organic compounds that are malleable and can be molded into solid products so we all know that plasticity it's a property of a material to irreversibly deform without cracking so this is utilized here so which is plastic is a material which is solid at a ordinary temperature and it allows appreciable and permanent change of a form without losing its coherence on the application of heat plus pressure or heat or pressure so there are plastics varieties of plastics are there that we can broadly categorized into three part one is natural plastic and then modified natural plastic and then synthetic plastic synthetic plastic is nothing but a man made plastic which plays a very important role in engineering material now coming to the basic aspects of plastic that is composition and structure of a plastic which has tremendous influence on the properties of the material so all plastics are organic so they exist in the form of molecules here it is shown Uh, where the atoms are bound together by strong forces of attraction so a molecule of gas methane is shown it consists of a one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms so this single molecule of a compound is capable of reacting with the other similar molecules so they form when they connect they form a larger molecule so a single molecule is called as a monomer and then they this monomers are joined so if you see there ethylene molecule is shown there a single molecule a carbon uh, uh, atom is linked with the link to the two hydrogen atoms that is shown in this figure and then when various ethylene monomers are joined together the resulting polymer is called as a polymer ethylene and the process of linking this various similar monomers is called as additional polymerization which is shown there in the diagram so copolymerization is when two or more different polymers are joined together the process is called as poly uh, when they are polymerized the process is called as a copolymer so properties as the different monomers are there obviously the properties are again different so copolymers are shown there then the arrangement of this molecules is shown again that one arrangement is a ordered arrangement another one is a disordered arrangement so this molecular chains if they are aligned in parallel rows which is shown here is called as a crystalline type of a or a ordered arrangement of molecule and in the second case the polymer the chains are in a disordered state so this has implication as far as the uh, applications and the resulting properties of material circles there are two major categories of material one is thermoplastic material now when the thermoplastic materials are processed they are heated the bonds gets weakened and then uh, they do not undergo any chemical change in their composition when they are heated and molded so molding can be done again and again in case of th 
thermoplastic. So, the process is reversible, right? It is called as a thermoplastic. And in case of a thermosetting plastics, uh, they assume a permanent. Once process, they assume a permanent shape, it cannot be remelted. So, that is why the reaction is irreversible. But if you consider the properties of thermosets, they are better in mechanical, thermal and chemical properties. So, they are having better electrical resistance, they are having good dimensional stability when you compare it with the thermoset, thermoplastics. So, thermoplastic polymer is uh, shown there, we can soften it, re-soften it, reprocess it and a long tangled chain of a molecule is shown and they are available even in uh, the linear chain as well as branched molecule chain, but once heated, the, the, those molecule chain gets weakened and then we can reshape it, but they are having effect on the properties of the material. Now, as far as thermoplastic properties are concerned, uh, they are glassy, rubbery depending upon the temperature range that we are using. They are uh, soften on, you can so, they softening, reshaping is very easy, but they are having poor temperature resistance and they are very flammable. So, if we see the uh, properties, our general properties are low melting point, softer and flexible, etc. Application range is given here depending upon type of thermoplastic material that is processed. So, varieties of material as I earlier gave the example polypropylene, polystyrene, polyvinyl chloride, polypropylene, acrylics, etc. One example is polyethylene is used in packaging, electrical insulation, milk, water bottles, etc. So, material wise, the properties taking into account the properties, the example is given in this slide. Now, to elaborate it more on this thermoplastic application, a particular requirement is there, design requirement is there from that material. Now, if mechanical strength is the requirement, then plastic used is acetyl, nylon, phenolic, polycarbonates, etc. Applications are gears, cams, roller walls, fan blades, impellers, pistons, etc. So, there are different types of design requirements are there, mechanical strength, functional and decorative requirement, housing and hollow shapes, functional and transparent and then wear resistance it is requirement. It fulfills the product wise, the application range and the thermoplastic materials are available. So, this slide gives more, you know, versatile, versatility of thermoplastic applications. As per your design requirement, the material availability is there which conforms to that design requirement and yields the desired application. The second type of material is thermosetting polymer. They are produced by condensation polymerization and they cannot be softened and reshaped once they are set. So, this long cross-link molecular ch chain is shown there and which the properties of thermosetting, the hardening on initial heating itself. So, we cannot reprocess it. They form a cross links which are shown here. Then they are rigid solid, cannot be recycled once molded, but they are having good temperature, dimensional stability, etc. required properties. And again, like thermoplastics here, the material wise, the property conformance design requirement and as well as its application range is given for some type of thermosetting material for alkydes, for epoxies, for polyesters and for polymides. The, the design required, the property requirement is shown there and its resulting application. So, both the material thermoplastic as well as thermosetting, they are having wide range of application. So, they are used in many applications. The another one plastic type is elastomer. They are again thermosets, they have rubber like properties and they are polyurethanes and silicones. They are the materials which are used in many applications. But again, 
they are uh, like thermosets. Now, as far as uh, this plastic is concerned, why to design with the plastic? It is because salient features are low cost, ease of manufacture. It is having versatility, imperviousness to water and they are used in enormous and expanding range of the products. The major reason is over a year, the plastic has emerged as a uh, it has uh, emerged as a substitute material, substitution material to traditional materials such as wood, stone, leather, paper, metal, glass, ceramic in most of their former uses. That is why plastic is deployed. But before deploying it, we must also look into its limitation that it is having low strength, low useful temperature range, low dimensional stability. Then aging effect, it over a period it becomes, it hardens and becomes brittle over time. It is sensitive to environment, moisture and chemical and it has poor machinability. We saw the properties again for both thermosets and thermoplastics. So, use is, uh, as I said, used in packing, in building material, in automobile industry, in furniture, in toys, in insulation in electrical and uh, cables, housewares, medical field and in uh, uh, plants, again plastic surgery, even in 3D printing applications, plastic is very commonly employed. So, the basic when plastic is deployed for processing purpose, they, they use fillers, catalysts, etc. What is plasticizer? It is used to soften the plastic and then fillers are used to employ the uh, tensile and impact strength of the and catalysts they are called as accelerators they promote the speed there are some promoters they are deployed substances which from improve the performance of the catalyst and there are some inhibitors that will reduce the efficiency of the catalyst so so far we covered basic aspects of the plastic before deploying the plastic for processing purpose there are various plastic processing methods are there those will be discussed in next lesson session but now it's a quiz time whether we clearly understood the basics of the plastics or not the first quiz question is plastics are dash in weight four options are given there very heavy in weight light in weight negligible uh, in weight and heavy in weight so the answer is light in weight the fabrication cost of the cost is for plastics high low moderate and very high the answer is low because the plastic it has easy workability and compared to other material as i said it has emerged as a substitution material for many other material the plastics are you know semiconductors conductor conducts at above room temperature only or insulator so why plastics are widely deployed because of the fourth option the answer is insulators Thermoplastic becomes dash on heating, rigid, molded, soft or brittle for option given and the answer is C that is they, are, they become soft on, on heating and cooling and they become rigid reversibly. So, that is thermoplastics becomes you know soft on heat and again they become and after cooling they become rigid reversibly. So, it is again possible to uh, reprocess it. So, that is all as far as the first session is concerned. In next session, the